Advertisement. Sign in register. In completed pages, articles with unsoused statements, Winks Club. Stella. Kind of, but we have better style. This article is an A. It has all the sections and images in place, making it complete. Only edit if you think it can be improved. Overview Series Comics Books Spin OS Out TS Gallery Crown Princess Stella is the Fairy of the Sun and Moon, or the Fairy of the Shining Sun. She is a creative, skilled artist who is Brandon's ANSI. Stella is Solaria's guardian fairy, as well as the sole heiress to the Solarian royal throne, signy ed by her status as keeper of the royal family ring. She is one of the founding members of the Winx Club and is an Armuna forward slash student of the Althea College for Fairies. Though immature and even Sailsha and bossy at times, Stella cares for her fellow Winx and sees herself responsible for them all as sort of a big sister ego. Contents, hide. One appearance. 1.1. Civilian. 1.1.1 Winx Club 1.1.2 World of Winx 1.2 Fairy Forms 2 Personality and 72 more English View Source Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Three Magical Abilities 3.1 Winx Club 3.2 World of Winx 3.3 Uses of Magic 4 Curiosities 5 Transformation Sequences 6 Etymology 6.1 Inspirations 7 Trivia 8 References Appearing Stella is a lightly tan-skinned young girl with long blonde hair that stops below her waist and golden amber Eyes Sevilla Win Club For season 1 and most of season 2, Stella has two hair strands hanging in the front and she wears a bright green halter top, an orange skirt with a thin golden belt adorned with matching gold medals Green sandals with orange suns just above her toes and a lilac-colored headband. For seasons 2 and 3, Stella wears a strapless seafoam green dress with pink stripes and a matching pink belt with a sparkly star-shaped buckle O to her left, and pink shoes platform heels with ribbons that are freely near her ankles. She also wears a pair of pink hoop earrings with a green star on each and her headband is now pink rather than lilac. For season 4, Stella wears an orange strapless dress with spiky white frills along both hems and small circular patterns that range from being in green, yellow, gold or white. She also wears a purple belt with a green star O to her left just under her chest, as well as green high heels with white socks that have a purple dotted pattern on them similar to her dress. Her bangs are now parted o to the side, rather than how they were styled prior where they covered her forehead. For season 5, Stella's bangs are now swept to the left side and she has the same hair strands hanging in the front from season 1. Her civilian out tee consists of a purple and orange layered dress, similar to Bloom and Flora's enchantix dresses, that is fastened to her body by an orange necklace that ends in three gold stars, and knee-high purple boots with orange ribbons wrapped over the half of her foot and around her ankles, ending in small bows just above her ankles, and with that purple knee-high socks, with purple laces are quite visible, wrapped and tightened. She also wears red star-shaped earrings and a purple headband with a lighter purple bow that rests on the right side of her head. Additionally, 
Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. The purple sections of the dress, not counting the bow-like top, have zebra print in some seal stock. Art. For season 6, Stella's bangs are parted similarly to how they were originally back in the RST3. Seasons. She wears a dark pink blazer with a grey trim over a pale pink dress shirt with a grey bow tied. Around her neck and three small buttons along each CU, a slate blue layered skirt with small white. Heart decorating it and a grey belt with pink buckle fastening the skirt to her waist, pink leggings and grey high heels with small pink bows on the toes. She also wears a grey plaid headband. For season 7, Stella's hair is now tied up into a ponytail that it is held that way with a pink bow that has dark blue stars on it with bangs swept to the right side. She wears a short-sleeved, plaid pink top with dark blue CUS over a pale pink dress shirt with a dark blue tie that has a small star pin in the middle. Dark orange belt and matching skirt that both have dark blue sections with buttons in them, orange. Knee-high socks with a pink hem and pink platform shoes with dark blue soles and she also wears. Purple star earrings. For season 8, Stella keeps her hair up in a ponytail with a blue bow, or purple in OCL artworks, and. She has bangs swept to the right side while she has mid-back length hair strands hanging in the front. She wears a purple long-sleeved coat with a lighter purple stitch mark pattern over a strapless pale. Purple dress with a dark purple dotted pattern and white frills along the topmost hem, brown leggings. And purple knee-high boots, the topmost section of the boots being a brighter purple with white frills along both ends and a small medallion around her neck. Seasons 1 and 2 Seasons 2 and 3 Season 4 Season 5 Season 6 Season 7 Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Season 8 Whirl of Win Stella's civilian look for both seasons of World of Winks W O R L O W I N World of Winks W O R L D O F W I N X World of Winks consists of an ombre pink short sleeve top over a white dress shirt with a light blue oral necklace, silver elbow length English gloves that are covered in pink sparkles, a light blue skirt, silver thigh high socks that are covered in pink sparkles much like her gloves, and pink open-toed high heels with tiny silver bows just above the opening. Occasionally, she can be seen wearing a small pink handbag with black beaded straps. Both seasons carrying her handbag. Fair form. Holding true to her many fairy titles as well as her name, Stella's fairy forms maintain a theme of light mainly that of stars. Orange stands out as the primary color of a majority of her forms, with purples and pinks acting as accents. Her signature color varies depending on season from yellow orange to bright orange, all seasons. Various shades of blue, seasons 6 to 8, and pink, seasons 6 to 8. Occasionally green, season 4. Purple, Seasons 5 to 8. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Personality. Although Stella is usually a proud and self centered girl, she also cares deeply about her friends and family. Not just herself. She will stick to the people she loves and do anything to keep them safe. Stella is not always seen wearing a smile on her face, but she does crack jokes to cheer her friends up when they are sad. Essentially, Stella has a cheerful and optimistic personality. Besides that, she is totally obsessed with fashion, which clothes look best on her, and which dresses match. 
her face the best. Stella often gives fashion advice to people in Althea, but this advice is often not taken well. She would rather hurt with Brandon than study and do work, which sometimes annoys the other girls. The most intuitive of all the members, Stella likes to match make but has often had problems with understanding why her friends do not always like getting set up. However, despite her intuitions, Stella can be rather oblivious at times. She was sent to Althea to become a stronger fairy, but this did not mean so much to her, though she did actively become a fully accomplished fairy and a powerful one by getting the RST3 season villains with the winks. She uses her magic for anything, but she mostly wants to help her friends as deep inside she is a generous and helpful girl. Although she might disagree with her friends, Stella is very supportive and protective and will not hesitate to help them. She learns to accept that love and friendship are far more important than royalty, fashion, and shopping. Sometimes she hides her true personality because of her upbringing. In short, her cheerful exterior masks great sorrow. Magica ability Wind Club Stella, as the fairy of the shining sun, moon and stars, she has sun forward slash star based and moon based powers. Stella can mainly control light and heat, which can be explained by her connection to the sun. She can throw blasts of light energy and can make balls of solar heat, which occasionally have the ability to burn things. She can concentrate her energy to make herself glow brightly in dark places along with producing an orbiting light sphere to illuminate dark areas or even producing spotlights. Stella is able to create explosions of sunlight that can leave the opponent temporarily blind as demonstrated in face to face with the enemy and the wizard's attack. She can shape light into barriers and shields, which as seen in Nebula will produce bright ashes when making contact with a physical force. She demonstrated the ability of controlling colors in a magic's Christmas. Due to Stella being from Solaria, she is majorly affected by the sun. She gains her energy from the sun and is heavily weakened when in very dark places or underground. Stella has displayed her moon magic more prominently in later seasons. Often as magic mirror spells such as summoning mirrors to the ECT attacks, conjuring crystal shards, and Stella unleashing a blinding light. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Shifting the reactions of her own and others to make their appearance similar to others, as demonstrated in Layla's choice. Her magic is yellow in color. She has the ring of Solaria which allows for her focus on her energy allowing it to be used as a light source. Stella is capable of teleporting herself and others in a ash of light as demonstrated in an unexpected event, where she teleports herself, Bloom, Mike and Vanessa to Althea with the latter being teleported back home. As, while she is seen using her scepter to teleport, large groups to transformed, the Black Willow's tears, while transformed. Fury. The most people she can teleport all together is nine. As, seen in at the last moment, she is able to teleport herself, while transformed, multiple times without tiring herself out. During the events of Queen for a day, she is able to summon a group of witches in a blinding ash of light as well as teleport the Winx and herself to Zenith in a monster crush, both without the use of her scepter and Wilder transformed. Stella has the ultimate ability to manipulate solar or lunar light, and the power stars. 
her element of light, specializes in sight and clarity, giving others the ability to see both the path and truth in front of them. As seen in Nebula, she was able to sense Rox's impurity when she was possessed by Nebula. And in Season 7 Stella's Butter 9 power is able to restore purity. Since her powers are derived from celestial objects she is able to manipulate cosmic forces. Stella has also shown abilities of generating weather phenomena such as controlling clouds to either uncloak or produce rain. Showers, creating solar hours to melt ice and grow plants. She can also create stellar orbs. Stella also knows some basic RST level spells that all fairies can use, such as telekinesis, transmuting objects, and Xing minor messes. Stella is a very talented fashion designer as she is often seen conjuring various fabrics, as well as complete out TS, even utilizing this skill to open a fashion boutique inside her. Dorm Room, 7. Whirl of Win. Stella's power is generated from dreams. She still retains her title as Fairy of the Shining Sun and rather than just generating blast of light for Owens she is capable of unleashing a variety of light attacks, Stella has been shown to control light sources such as spotlights and streetlights, with such prosient control that she can increase the brightness of multiple at once with only one breaking apart, this includes being able to redirect the physical source itself. A primary defense is to generate shields, but also temporary blinding the opponent. Her magic appears as golden yellow light halos forward slash rays. She is also able to create explosions of light that are capable of disintegrating the shadow creatures. Stella shielding herself with her scepter. Stella parting the clouds. Stella bending lasers. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. After gaining on Eric. Stella became capable of manipulating light such as shaping it into barriers or attacks such as light discs as well as redirecting laser points a hero will come. Her special power allows her to receive visions of the past by touching an object or surface akin to said event, similar to the Tracix wings in the main series. She could make herself glow brighter. By creating an aura of light which can disperse affecting her opponents. During her confrontation with Obscura, Stella was able to unleash her inner light to dispel the darkness and even trap her nemesis in a light dome. She also seems to have a stronger defensive magic capable of breaking the falls of others. Aside from her light-based powers, Stella has been seen using telekinesis transmutation, and repairing minor problems. Like her main series counterpart, she is very intuitive about fashion and people. Like in the original series, she is unfast by bright ashes of light, outside of magical spells, and more resilient to solar heat. Use of Magi Power of the Wand to me Move the walls a lot with all the space you got. You have to widen. 2. Others will follow soon. Without saving furnish and decorate make all true to see and contemplate. Used in issue 17, the ghost of Balmoral, while using the ring of Solaria to make. Bloom's room in Gardenia bigger, so all the winks could tea in it. In I miss I, used in danger in the wildland as part of a dispelling charm to give fruits spell reversing. Abilities, Musa did the RST part. Transport us back Homus, transport us to Alfea, Nickelodeon, used in fury. To teleport. Everyone back to Alfea. Anti-sunshine spell, 
antimatter spell, Nickelodeon, used in the Red Tower against Blue Min. Training Convergence Shield Bounce Back and Multiplier, used along with Aisha and Tekna in Wizards. Anger to defend themselves from the tricks. Muting Spell, used in Queen for a day on her father. Curiety Birthday, the 18th of August, 5. Astrological Sign, Mermaid, 5. Favorite Food, Chips, 5. Favorite Color, Green, 5. Favorite Hobby, Shopping, Shopping and Shopping Again, 5. And Organizing Pajama Parties. Citation Needed. Favorite Pet, All Little Puppies, 5. Ideal Boyfriend, My Lovely Brandon, 5. Handsome and full of muscles, and super sweet, citation needed. Stella viewing the past. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Best Friend, Bloom and Brandon, 5. Favorite Movies, Comedies, 5. Nothing is better than a laugh. Citation needed. Loves, shopping and designing out TS also hanging out with my girls, 5. Hates, not doing shopping. Favorite music, anything that makes me dance. 5. Pop music, citation needed. Favorite shoes, all. One for each occasion. 5. Favorite subject, must I choose. Metamorphology. 5. Favorite spell, Moon Ray. 5. Transformatio sequence. Winx Club, Stella All Full. Transformations up to Tynix. HD. All transformation in one video. Etymologue. The name Stella name is derived from the Latin and Italian word for star, in reference her powers which themselves are derived from celestial objects such as the sun, moon and stars. Her parents, Radius and Luna, further play into this as being physical representations of the sun and moon to Stella's star. Inspiration Main article, Inspirations and References According to Eugeniostra, Creator of the Winx Club W I N C L U Winx Club W I N X C L U B Winx Club series and franchise, Stella's appearance was modeled on the retired actress Cameron Diaz. 8. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Stella being ambushed by the servants of the tricks at the beginning of the RST season is what led to the start of the events of Winx Club. This might have been inspired by how the Star Wars story started with the Princess Leia Organa being ambushed by Darth Vader. Trivi Stella is the RST fairy to transform in the series. Stella was Miss Solaria for a record 12 consecutive turns. 9. Stella is the only one of the Winx to have a speaking role in every episode thus far. Bloom does not. Speak in the show must go on. Stella's main voice actress for the 4 kids dub was credited using an alias that changed each season. Mary Stout, Sue Meredith, and Grace Shepard, respectively. In fact, her voice sounds similar to actress Kim Cattrall from the Sin Loom dub. According to a book titled English with Winx Stella's address and, subsequently, the location of the Royal Palace is 7 Rainbow Street. The hairband Stella wears in her harmonics form is similar to the hat worn by Andrina, one of Ariel's sisters from Disney LM The Little Mermaid. Both also have blonde hair. Additionally, the ribbons that make up Stella's harmonic sandals and, later, her sirenique's thighs, are of the same color as Andrina's mermaid tail. 
Harmonix is the RST transformation where Stella does not wear her hair in pigtails. Instead, she wears her hair in a ponytail. Both Stella and Aisha are 17 at their RST appearances, though, if Aisha had been present during the RST season, she would have been 16 like the rest of the Winx, and Stella would remain as the oldest member. Stella's opposite is most likely Darcy as Stella is open and sociable whereas Darcy is more withdrawn and tends to keep to herself. Power-wise, Stella controls light which, according to Faragandar in Winx Together, specializes in sight and clarity to give others the ability to see the truth in front of them, whereas Darcy controls darkness and specializes in confusing and deceiving others until they are no longer able to see the truth in front of them. Stella is typically seen with Bloom and Flora more than any of the other girls. Stella and Bloom are also the only characters who remain relatively unchanged when comparing concept designs. Ironically, Stella is acrophobic, scared of heights, despite the fact that she typically i.e. around with ease in her various transformations. She also holds a fear and hatred of spiders which she shares with her bonded pixie, Amore. Stella's favorite hobbies are shopping, dressing up, and designing fashion. She also realizes her dream of becoming a fashion designer by season 6. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. In World of Winx WORLWIN World of Winx WORLDOFWINX World of Winx, her work as an up-and-coming fashion designer is treated more seriously than in Winx Club WINCLU Winx Club WINXCLUB Winx Club, where it is simply played for laughs. Over the course of the series, Stella has sued several body mutations. In the season 3 episode Valter's Mark, she was turned into a monster by Chimera. Later that same season in the Crystal Labyrinth, her face is turned into a doodle after giving up her looks for the water stars. Although this is not a mutation, she is de-aged in the season 5 episode The Gem of Empathy and the season 7 episode Baby Winx. Stella had three childhood designs. One in season 2, where she wore glasses and looked like a typical nerd. Another in season 3, where she was more formal. This specific design of hers resembles that of Cindy Vortex from the Jimmy Neutron movie. And shorts. And one during season 5, where she looked like a somewhat ordinary 3 to 5 year old girl in her. Civilian out tea for that season. This also happened during season 7. Stella's highlights in 3D transformations are in pink, but they are in purple in 2D. With the exception of being underwater, her hair is green with pink highlights in 2D and 3D. Throughout the animation, Stella's eye color changes in hue, sometimes they are golden brown. Sometimes they are regular dark brown, and sometimes they are bright gold. In the episode The Princess Ball, Stella tries on a dress that looks similar to the redesign of her Princess of Solaria dress in the Nickelodeon specials. Stella's Nickelodeon voice actress, Amy Gross, also voices Caramel. Stella is the only member of the Winx that does not have a named Sirenix spell that is released from the leg. Stella is the FTH Winx member to be turned evil, as shown in Queen 4. A day when she is hypnotized by Selena's magic mirror. The RST was Bloom as shown in Season 2 when she is corrupted by Lord Darker. The second was Roxy in Nebula when she was possessed by Nebula. The third was Tecna in the Sirenix book when she was turned into a robot. The fourth was Musa in Secret of the Ruby Reef when she was turned into a monster by Tritonus.
Stella's wings in her Sirenique's transformation are turned upside down. Stella is the only fairy to wear boots in her Mythics form. Mythics is also the RST transformation where all her hair is loose. If World of Winx is taken into consideration, Dream Ikes would be the second. The dress that is seen in the RST Nickelodeon special. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Stella is the only Winx member to turn right during their Butter 9 transformation. Stella and Bloom are the only Winx to have a sleeveless uniform in Season 7. Rebecca Sola, who voices Stella in the Duart dub, also voiced Tecna in Season 3 for the 4 Kids dub. In The Mystery of the Abyss, it is implied that Stella is a fan of Justin Bieber. Stella is very creative that all of her friends always ask her some tips and advice on how to match clothes and accessories. Stella's motto is, following fashion can be fun, but creating a unique style is even more fun. Even though Stella has the same amount of comic-only love interests as Bloom and Aisha, both never graduate from being simple infatuations and are usually left unrequited on Stella's end. Although she and Joel might have fallen for each other, the two maintain more of a friendly relationship with the other until they stop hanging out altogether. Stella's small crush on Paul also went completely unrequited as he was in love with her friend. Jessie Stella is one of the characters in the show who has broken the fourth wall but, unlike the others, she has broken it more than once. At the very end of the Gem of Empathy, she says what did I say to the audience. In Banana Day, she pushes aside a screen-sized image of herself when the Megalima envisions her as his love interest. Other characters who have broken the fourth wall include Icy. Darcy, Ogron and, in World of Winx, Bloom. As revealed in Mermaids on Earth and Fashion School Thrills, Stella's weakness is her fear of not being loved, being ridiculed, and being left alone or deserted. It seems as though Stella experiences a completely different childhood in World of Winx than she did in the main series. As mentioned in Queen for a Day, Stella hates mazes. Along with Bloom, Stella is one of the two Winx members to have her signature color, and sometimes pink, in every one of her transformations. Onirik is her RST transformation in which she wears teal. Stella's Sinloom voice actor, Jennifer Seguin, also voices Jolly, Chatter. In Pop Pixie E P O P P I X I Pop Pixie P O P P I X I E Pop Pixie and Maxine, Stella's duet voice actor Jessica Parkett also voices Rose Cinderella from Regal Academy, another show created by Rainbow. Coincidentally, Rose Cinderella bears some resemblance with Stella, and they are both into fashion, especially shoes for Rose's case. In Season 8, like with other Winks, Stella's catchphrase is Showtime forward slash Showtime, girls. Stella is the last character in the series to speak. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Reference Con Arund in the book, I Want to Be a Fairy in the introductory page. Wizjise calls her this in Professor Avalon's Secret. Bloom calls her this in Issue 34, A Story of Knights and Ladies. Sponsus reveals her source of power in Princess Armentia. 5.0050.0015.0025.0025.0045.0055.0065.0075.0085.0075.0085.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075.0075
https colon double forward slash u two dot b forward slash five reject underscore xlqe question mark psi equals sign co eight z j d two nine ajn b ampersand t equals sign three four zero the legendrium to view a genio stro racontalus u winx ambientalist wikipedia io donna the ninth of july two thousand and eleven the Tree of Life. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.